What's up guys, it's the Mobile Agent Gamer here, and I'm going to be making one of the possibly biggest coin making videos that you need to hear about. Because Positional Heroes is coming up, um, the promo actually was supposed to drop, uh, well, I think a lot of people expected it to drop Saturday morning, it didn't drop then. So then last night, uh, Saturday night, I made a video uh, talking about Positional Heroes, and then I was gonna upload it, but it turns out that, um, for some reason the screen, it kept, like, flipping during the video, so then... The video ended up being um, like black bars on the side, so I decided to just re-scrap it, and I'm gonna retweet the video, which is, which is good because Positional Heroes ended up not coming out to this morning, which is great. I'm hoping that they're gonna come out tomorrow, and then uh, my coin making guide actually works. So I had about 1.5 mil. I was I talked about that in the last and uh, like the video that got cut. Basically, uh, the Madam Mobile coin glitch. Uh, it was a funny story because I made a video the night before. Um, like I, I tried I actually tried the Mad Mobile coin glitch for real saying that the Mad Mobile coin glitch would not work and it doesn't work and yet I got it to work three times and now I had 1.5 mil and then I um invested it all in this positional heroes promo because I definitely think um that after it's gonna be just worth it. I'm hoping to make about one to two mil from this promo and before I uh start into all the coin making stuff, just know that a lot of the um ideas and like and the thoughts did come from Sabertooth's video i'm not like trying to like steal his ideas and claim their mind so i'll give him credit i'll just put that in the video in the description i just like to point out that uh like my goal in making this video is just to let you all know that you need to make money from this so to start off uh what is positional heroes positional heroes are just last year um it was you put in like a ridiculous amount of gold and elite players like let's say you want the positional hero for a d tackle and a deep tackle positional hero would be like a, like a 98 or something. And then you'd put in like 10, 10 base elites and then 50 golds. And then they'd go and then you put them in the set for, um, and then you'd get like a 98 deep tackle, which was worth about 1.5 mil. And so I, I bought all these, um, these are DNs. I bought some Geno Atkins here. Let's see. I think I have some Quan shorts. Um, I'm trying to find all my deep tackles just to prove that I, I should have 10. Yeah, there you go. I have 10. So I have 10 of those. And then also DNs. I actually have 20 of them. I overbought by accident. And then also for um, gold, uh, they're kind of scattered in here, but I promise I do have 50 D tackles and 50 um, DNs. And then also, um, there apparently there's a punter that's dropping, a 98 or 99 punter, which is going to go for a ridiculous amount. And I don't know if you remember, but. Uh, in my first coin making guide, I talked about this Matt Bosher being a good investment because 90 punters are gonna go for like 80k. Well, it turns out he's gonna go, he's going for 80k because everybody wants elite punters now. So this Matt Bosher is going for an insane amount. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going for. Uh, he dropped re uh, this morning because he dropped like 70k because positional heroes didn't drop. So then everybody thought that like they just need to get rid of him as quick as they can, but like. Ah, uh, yeah, so it looks like punters dropped. It might actually be a decent time to um, invest in some punters, because before it was a snipe to get punters for like 60k. And it looks like that you can get a 65k punter or something easy. Yeah, so it looks like you can get these 65k punters easy. I would, but I already have all those um, mad boshers, so I should be fine. And then gold punters, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the... um capacity to do gold punters just because um you need 50 of them and at 15k each it's gonna be about it's just gonna be a lot of money i don't know if it's gonna be worth it but uh i might consider it actually but we'll see i think when i'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna end up uh filling out the d and d tackle set and i'm just gonna go ahead and uh sell my matt boshers that i already have just for that ridiculous price so that's probably gonna be my uh, major plan so then uh, another aspect of positional here is elite trophies. There's gonna be elite trophies is a big aspect of the set, and uh, I'm banking on that elite trophies go for more than 20k. Uh, whoops. I'm hoping that elite trophies go for more than 20k because uh, right now, like I used to be able to, like last night I was like buying like 10 and they were just sitting there for 14.999 and it looks like they're already gonna they're already beginning the rise. Yeah, they're not even going for 17k now. Let's see if they're going for 18k or 19k. I actually don't have 19k. Uh, I guess they're probably going for more like 18k. But look at that. 
I just made, uh, like, 3k, and then I bought, like, 20, I think I bought 40 of them. Like, I bought a lot of Elite Trophies, so that's gonna be about 120k profit. And it's not a lot, but, uh, for some people, again, it is a lot, and for other people, it's just easy. Like, it wasn't hard, like, I didn't even snipe those, they were just sitting there, like, okay, I'll just buy all of them, so. That happened there, and, uh, I'm gonna go check, uh, what else about Positional Heroes, because I did fill out, uh, for those of you curious, I did fill out the Marcus Peters set, and I, I flipped them for an extra 200k profit. Oh, I can actually fill this out, but I'm actually gonna save this because I'm hoping for um no auction all pro um offensive pack that are letting you use the same collectibles and all that. Um, oh, definitely um if you're ever gonna do it, now's the time to fill out these silver and bronze trophy sets because if you pull an elite. I mean, the chances are kind of slim, but if you, even if you pull a gold, it's still going to be worth a pretty decent amount of money, because people are going to be, get, like, trying to buy five golds to fill out the elite set. Uh, the gold player trading is also going to be a really good money maker. You know, we'll just do it once now. I don't want to put up any of these D tackles, though. That's the problem. So I got to be careful who I put in. Uh, let's see. So, offense, safety, receiver, receiver. All right, here we go. So... Yep, no D tackles or D answer in that. So if we pull an elite, that's gonna be about 20k. All our money's gonna be back back. Or golds. Oh, there you go, elite. And elites are actually pretty pretty easy to pull. Oh, two elites. This is crazy. So there you go, two elites, three golds. This is actually a really good pack. So those two elites are gonna sell for like 20k eventually. So 40k. Each of the golds sell for like 5k. So that's about a 60k uh, pack for 20k's worth of gold players. So. There you go, that's like something easy, that's a good money making coin guide, 40k in that pack right there. Also, um, I'd like to finish this with talking about the coin glitch. I would continue to try it, however, uh, it's gonna be so much more tedious, like, it's gonna take about 10 tries before it works once, and each try takes about 10 minutes, so if you have the time, if you have a data blow, you're gonna end up making about 2 mil pretty easily, but again, it's, that's probably gonna take like a whole day, so... It's your discrepancy on that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this coin making guide video. I hope you enjoyed um, this kind of investing sort of thing. And if you like this video and you want to see more coin making guide videos, drop a like and uh, go subscribe. Join the mag squad and I'll see you all next video.